Central Kentucky's rock station is 107.3, the point locals only. Sunday night, stoic static out of uh, Louisville. And tell us a little bit about the band. Introduce yourselves, guys. Um, this is Mitchell. I'm the lead guitarist and singer. Blair Bissett, drummer. And I'm Jonathan Haven, the uh, bass player. Tell us a little bit about how the band got together. Um, well, uh, me and Jonathan uh, got together actually in high school, and uh, we played all through high school, you know, the high school talent shows and whatnot. And uh, actually, we've been through quite a bit of uh, quite a few members, and uh, we got lucky enough to meet Blair about two and a half years ago, and uh, he's been the uh, heartbeat ever since. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, tell us a little bit about uh, you kind of the way you guys uh, put together your uh, new record that you got out. Um, well, um, we recorded uh, our record with uh, John Schroeder with um, Apogee Studios. Um, he was actually uh, he was the uh, lead sound engineer at uh, Pit Sound, which was out of Atlanta and uh, eventually turned into Apogee. Um, he recorded uh, Kansas, uh, Ted Nugent, um, quite a few different players. So a lot of the sounds that we have on there, he really helped us um sculpt that and produce it okay okay so uh, influences on your part what what kind of those old school bands or uh... oh as a as a drummer you could probably find me air drumming to almost anything you know zeppelin or hendrix all the yeah. way up to i mean you know dave Grohl and mac Herman. okay okay yeah i think we're all a little bit of eclectic you know we try to listen to you have to respect music to be able to interpret it in an original way you know i think there's a lot of different varieties of music that that people maybe don't necessarily experience that influence them then too is there a certain type of music that you you kind of lean towards a little bit uh, i think we uh we all kind of lean towards uh the 90s kind of style and a lot of like classic rock just the uh, emotion behind it mm -hmm. we try to use that same thing and we really want to kind of bring that back you know when there was a soul into music not saying that there isn't now but just uh more you know emotional okay what about by and by let's uh, talk a little bit about writing that track um well um actually uh i wrote that song uh for my father i was going through uh a little bit of time with him when he was sick in my life, and um, I, that song just came out of it. I actually, uh, I started writing those uh, the lyrics to that song when I was 13, and uh, I didn't actually finish it until uh, I was 16, but um, a lot of that song is about that time in my life, and then um, a lot of the effects and everything are mostly with John's part, you know, helping us uh, kind of get that medium over the idea that I had kind of into the sound. Okay. Well, let's check it out. It is uh, by and by Stoic Static. It's locals only. Central Kentucky's rock station, 107.3 The Point.
Central Kentucky's Rock Station is 107.3 The Point. Locals only, by and by, still ecstatic in the studio. And uh, what's going on, guys? You guys playing any shows out and about here soon? Um, yeah, actually, we have a show um, lined up for um, Sunday, October 30th. It's um, from 8 to 10.30 in the morning, which I know is early, but um, it's for the uh, Jam Active Marathon and all the uh, sponsors and uh, proceeds for that go to St. Jude's uh, Children's Fund. Oh, so for a good cause. Good cause, October 30th, you can see these guys. Uh, tell us a little bit about... Uh, other things you're doing, websites, things you got, promotional tools, you know, that's what this show's all about. <laughs> uh, the website, uh, it's been up for a few months now, finally. We've been uh, piecing it together. Uh, pretty soon we're going to start offering um, those that sign up for the, uh, the mailing list, um, like a, some sort of like free track or live track. We're trying to, trying to hash that part out still, but okay. you, can go, you can go on there, you can listen to the whole album from, from front to back, and... Uh, it's keep going by because we keep updating it as soon as or as often as we can. Okay, and they can check that out. What's the web address? The web address <laughs> is, is it, it's simply stoicstatic dot com. Okay, stoicstatic dot com. They can check that out and uh, check out your music. They can check out. They can just listen all the way through the whole thing. There, yeah, yep, right. the whole thing front to back. Okay, good deal. Good deal. The thing. Yeah, and they can uh, also check out all of our upcoming uh, tour dates and everything like that on there. As well. Okay, you got some pictures. Oh yeah, bad pictures, pictures good uh, pictures. No. We have thumbnails to go by. You can look at. Uh, we're actually working on a, a new video too. We're actually trying to do a video um, for by and by, and um, we're hoping to get done pretty soon. But um, also on there, we have a shop. Uh, you can go on there and download. We're on uh, CD Baby, Amazon, uh, a bunch of different digital iTunes. distribution. Yeah, so uh, all your stoic static needs are there. <laughs> all right, Absolution. Who's going to talk about this one? Well, Blair, why don't you step up? It's your favorite track from the album. Well, I, I can't speak for the meaning of the song because, you know, I, I didn't put it together. But I do know this. It's probably my favorite song off the album. I think the riff is just uh, incredible. I get, it's stuck in my head all day. And I just love drumming to it. Okay, absolution. Let's uh, check it out. It is Stoic Static from Louisville. Locals only, Central Kentucky's Rock Station, 107.3 The Point.
Absolution. It is so ecstatic. Central Kentucky's rock station. Locals only. 107.3 The Point. If you're a local band, of course, you can hit us up on the website to uh, get on the show. 1073thepoint.com. And that's what you guys did. <laughs> I, I tell everybody, and they don't believe me. They're like, hit the website. Hit the website. Hit the website. I can say it like 50 million times. And nobody's still hit the website. <laughs> you know, I, you got to self-promote yourself if you're a band. And you really got to do that now. If you're out and about as a band, um, not a lot of record labels, you know, mark it down to, to, to sign new bands really right now. You got to promote yourself. You really got to know how to do this. Yeah, definitely. That's been uh, that's always a hard part, I think, with any band is just trying to uh, get your fan base and then just keep working at it. You know, it takes a lot of people say, hey, that rock star has it easy, you know, but they don't realize how much work they had to do to get up to that point. You know, it's like a constant, uh, constant struggle. But, uh, you know, if you love it, it's it's worth it. Well, there's a lot of great musicians and a lot of a lot of times that the way you get to be a a great musician and you get a record contract, you got to play a lot of live shows. You got to be really tight as a band on stage. A lot of times otherwise you're not going to make it unless you're just a a YouTube sensation or something. Yeah, we uh, uh, we're no uh, (laughs) we haven't got to that point yet. We're we're trying, though. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Our live show has come a long way since a couple years ago when we first started because we played, what, 35 shows now in the past two, two and a half years, 35 shows across about like five states or something like that, I think. Okay. And you guys got a show coming up. Let's run that again. Um, yes, actually, the one on uh, October 30th, um, that's at the Jam Active Marathon. And uh, we have another one, too, um, coming up in November. It's not exactly scheduled yet. It's to be announced. It's on our website right now, though, but uh, they're having a uh, the college coop at uh, UofL. It's kind of like a hangout spot for mm-hmm. uh, kids that live in the dorms and stuff like that. And uh, we're going to be playing uh, an unplugged set for their uh, grand opening. Okay, so you can check that out. Website? Yes, check out stoicstatic.com. Please sign up for our mailing list. Like you said, we're going to be offering a free track to everyone who signs up, all of our fans. And we got a lot of cool stuff going on there now. We're going to add that music video and uh, uh, get on our forums. Talk it up with us. We got some forums going on up there. We need some more people to sign up and get on there. Got a lot of cool topics. Uh, listen up to the, the whole CD. They can listen to that on there before they buy it on the website. So they can go on there and listen to that, too. Yes. Yeah, we actually have we have two options there. If you click the audio tab um, from our homepage, you can click the audio tab and access that. It comes up and it has a, a rock box. And then what was the other one to click on? The other one's just a track by track. You track by listen. track, yeah. Okay. And the rock box will actually play the album from start to finish in order. Um, just like if you popped it in, you know, your CD player and didn't touch it, but then the track by track option, you can go in and choose which songs, uh, which songs you want to listen to. And then also too, make sure you vote in our poll on our website, um, on which track from the album is your favorite song. Um, we just got an album review, uh, overseas in the United Kingdom, yeah. um, Talk a little bit about that. Um, that was uh, from uh, Lester Bangs. Uh, he actually, they got a hold of us um, right after our album came out. Um, I guess they had seen it on CD Baby. They kind of checked things out, and uh, they gave us a great review. Um, really liked our stuff. We actually have that uh, posted on our website, too. You can go on, and uh, there's a link to that uh, where you can read the entire uh, album review. And um, it's actually going pretty good, man, overseas. I'm sitting here thinking, you know, there could be somebody sitting over there buying all these CDs and we're sitting over here still working, <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's the way sometimes it works. I mean, there's a different a different vibe overseas than what it is in this country with a lot of different music. I mean, it just is. Uh, tell us a little bit about For Which You Pray. That's the, the first track on there that you guys say you open up with a lot of times. Yeah, yeah, we do. We, uh, we usually open up uh, our live shows with that, and we also opened up our CD with that. Uh, it starts out, you know, a lot of high energy heavy guitar riff, uh, heavy sounds on that song. And um, yeah, it's like a really high energy song. It gets, pe- gets people pumped up at the live shows, especially. Uh, that's why we, we love to start with that. It gets us pumped up too to play, you know. We, we feed off that energy too, and it just, it gets everything rolling. Stoic Static, stoicstatic.com. Check them out. Thank you guys for coming in. Let's check out For Which You Pray. It is locals only. Central Kentucky's Rock Station, 107.3 The Point.